It's Rachel T. Tyler here and I'm back with another video. This time I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. I'm just here at this beautiful hotel for a job and I just thought since I'm traveling at the moment and that is when my skin goes through it the most, I would give you an insight into my skincare secrets. So I just thought I would bring all my skincare bits, my camera and you guys to share all my secrets to glowing healthy skin no matter what you put it through. So I think let's just get into it. My evening skincare routine is very, very different from my morning skincare routine. I don't think I'm going to go through both today, but if you like this video, definitely let me know if you want to see my daytime morning skincare routine. Um, but in the evenings, first things first, I take off the day. So I double cleanse and then also I exfoliate after that if my skin's had a hard time. My first product I'm using is the Hamish All Clean Balm. This is just gonna melt away all the makeup or dirt or anything on your skin and in a very gentle way. Um, yeah, so you can see it's just a bit of a balm. Okay, so it starts off as a balm and it can be quite solid if it's cold, but I pat it out a little bit. Basically, you just kind of rub it all over the makeup right into the lashes every little bit that you have on your face and you can see that it just kind of melts away all the makeup so this is step one in cleansing i always use an old oil based cleanser because i find that that gently removes the makeup instead of scrubbing it away in a harsh dehydrating way so i'm just going to give that a rinse i've taken my cleansing balm off my face is still wet from washing it and i put some clips in i totally forgot to bring a hair ties so please don't be annoyed i know that's gonna annoy some of you the next step is the laneige i always use cream cleansers because i find that when i used to use really really harsh abrasive cleansers like physical exfoliants and just like things with salicylic acid and things to really dry out the skin gels all that kind of thing all those cleansers really dehydrated my face and i found that i broke up out more when i was over drying my face because i guess when you're stripping your skin of all the moisture and oils it naturally produces it wants to overcompensate and produce more so i would break out in really bad pimples when i was like dehydrating the shit out of my face so obviously everyone's skin is different everyone has different skin issues and textures so this might not work for everybody but i found that going gentler with the cleaning and just doing a couple more steps really help the overall texture and tone of my skin. So I'm gonna wash this off now. She is squeaky. Oh, I feel so fresh. Kind of scrubbed the shit out of my neck though, so it's a bit red. Hole. Anyways, moving on. This next step I don't always do, but it's more so a step that I will reach to if my skin's having a hard time, especially like texturally. And it, I find it often happens when I've worn a lot of makeup or products that I'm not used to mostly on shoot days or after shoot days so the next step is to exfoliate and i don't like abrasive exfoliants they really are harsh on your skin and so i use chemical exfoliants this one's by neogen i find it quite gentle on my sensitive skin so it is just a soaked pad and it's just going to help resurface my skin to reveal softer brighter skin so there's two plies to this pad one's kind of a gauze material so it gives your skin that tiny bit of physical exfoliant if you like that. And I find it's gentle enough to do that step. And then you can turn it around or you can just use this side if your skin's super, super sensitive. And there is a softer, more like padded side and just wipe everywhere. Then rinse that right off. And that is my cleansing done. 
we're gonna put some moisture back into our skin. I'm gonna tone first. So this is a SK2 facial treatment lotion. I'm just going to soak one of these in the treatment lotion. So this is a toner. Unlike normal Western toners, it's not astringent. So it helps to prepare the skin for all your moisturizing products, but it's not stripping the skin away like that kind of alcoholy feeling that you get after other kinds of toners. My skin is now ready for all the good stuff. So this is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. So that's another step that I do before moisturizing, but it is a moisturizing step, if that makes sense. They tell you to put it on, on with a cotton pad at SK2 counter, but I put it on with my fingers. So you can put it straight to your fingers and go like that, but I find it easier to just kind of drop it onto my face in sections. And just tap it into the skin. And this really, really helps to brighten my overall skin tone and appearance. Next step is optional. I'm doing this because I have a shoot tomorrow, so I want my skin to be super, super plump and supple. And that is to use a sheet mask. So I brought one with me. I'm gonna go get it. I put it in the fridge, which is where I always store my face mask. So BRB. I don't have any like holy grail face masks or anything like that. I actually get these from, oh, I forgot the face mask company. So I'm always kind of trying different ones. I have to be careful because my skin can be quite sensitive, but this one is cool. It says you pop it on at 10 PM. It's anti-aging. So it kind of works with your skin's body clock, which is why I think your evening and your morning skincare routine should be very different because your skin needs different things at different times of the day. So I'm gonna pop this one on. Mmm, this is a nice cool mask. Actually, that's probably because I put it in the fridge, lol. Put some excess on my lips, on my eyes, down my neck, and I will see you in 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and I just took it off because this mask actually says just leave it on for 30 minutes, which is interesting. Most masks are only like 10 to 20 minutes. And then I took it off and I'm taking all the excess juices from the pouch and I'm just going to tap that all over my face. And neck. It's gonna be quite juicy, so now is probably a good time to give my face a little bit of a massage. All right, all patted in. Skin is feeling very rejuvenated right now. So we can move on to our serums. I guess you could say I follow the Korean skincare routine in terms of like the steps that I take because I find I really, really enjoy layering on my skincare and giving each layer like the opportunity to absorb and do its part. So I used to be just like a cleanse, tone, moisturize kind of gal, but now all these little steps I think have really helped with my skin in terms of that glow. So now I'm using this. This is Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. And this one is actually infused with hyaluronic acid as well, which helps to really plump up the skin and draw moisture into it. So just with a dropper onto my fingertips, just going to smooth that all over the face and again I'm going to apply that with a massaging motion This is also an optional step. This is a cream by Myzon and it's a black snail cream that really helps to repair your skin. So I like to do this step at night because I like to prepare my skin to kind of rejuvenate and replenish the cells through the night. And so I use products that will help it do that. So this all over the skin and just again with massaging motions. 
Next step is, it should be my face mask. So I like to sleep with like an overnight mask, either this one or Laneige does a nice water based one. And that should be the next step for me, either that or like just your average um, nighttime moisturizer, whatever that may be. But instead I'm going in with my oil. Oil should be last because you want it to be able to everything to sink into the skin so we're doing the lightest layers to the heaviest layers if that makes sense because if you put oil say at the very beginning and then you put like your essence and your serums and things they're not going to sink in because this has created a barrier but for me i find that when i put this on after my mask it just kind of stays greasy all night so i'm just gonna use a little dropper and pop a couple on my finger uh, drop to my fingers and just tap that in all over the skin now before my final step so this is the kills midnight recovery concentrate so again things that work through the night my skincare is very targeted to the time of day that the products should be used. Just a couple more drops. Oh no, I've given myself a bit of a scratch. I um, pick myself in the nail, so that shouldn't happen. Ignore her. I'm gonna pop on the final step. So this is Cause, and this is an overnight sleeping facial mask. Quite generous with it because I'm literally just gonna go straight into bed after I put it on. Soothing. Oh, it feels so nice on the skin. So I'm going to leave everything to settle in for about 10 minutes and then check back in with you and show you the final glow that is it you guys that is the secrets to my glowing skin for my evening routine that is if you enjoyed this and want more secrets to my glow glow to my glow let me know below she's rhyming okay let me know below and i will do my morning skincare routine for you as well and until then i guess i'll see you on instagram Mwah.